hello <laughs> why the hell am i saying hello and yeah I'll try and make it quick i would always drag it extremely long but i've decided to do like daily updates and daily journals and just record my day or you know just journal either it could be in writing form or it could be in video form i prefer video um so how has today been i've been feeling um, so relaxed because i've been working continuously you know like have had a job and stuff I had to wake up in the morning do this do that do that now i'm back on you know i'm on my own schedule i'm running things at specific times at how i want to do them you know um, which has been interesting something i've been wanting to get back to but it also reminded me of how difficult it is to be disciplined um because if you're not doing anything there's no one to you know make you do anything it's just you against you you know so that but i'm still trying and i've written like five bullet points because i believe it's not about doing one big thing or big actions like one day but it's about doing like small small things every single day so i've written five things that i must do in a day and journaling is one of them so i have my head clear and all sorts of things um hmm Yesterday I uploaded a reel, my first reel, it was so cool. It's, um, I made like a one minute video, but a maximum, how like long a reel can be is 30 minutes. So I divided it into two parts, like, you know, part one and part two. And even though it's a one minute video, it took me two and a half hours to edit it. It was crazy, but I'm um, pretty happy with how it came out, honestly. Reel has a certain aesthetic to it and I've never done a reel. So I was also trying to watch so many to understand, you know, like how do I, you know, like make it but i was happy with how it turned out so that was fun and it got so many views it's almost at like 3200 views i have like 1600 followers and the max number of views i've ever gotten on a video is like 300 or some shit there's like 10x that which is great so it tells me that reels perform extremely extremely well on instagram and if one's trying to you know grow their instagram reels is like a huge 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 arbitrage to you know get that thing done so that also, uh, I'm doing this startup course by Ankur Pariku and uh, it's very interesting. He's so articulate and smart and such an effective communicator and doesn't, you know, razz around. So it's really interesting, even though it's like a one, one hour module kind of thingy. It has, how many does it have? It has like eight, nine modules or something, right? And... Um, even though doing a startup is something that, I mean, it's really not up my alley, but I wanted to educate myself and, you know, information and knowledge is potential power. And any day if I would have an idea and, you know, wanted to randomly do something, I would have the infrastructure in my head to actually execute it. That's why I wanted to do it and also get really deep into it of what it takes, you know. So I feel like that knowledge is so, like, valuable for me and I've been making notes and going crazy. And he's so smart, so even if I'm like, even if I, I'm learning so many different things and definitely learning things that I can apply in my life, even though one is not doing a startup startup. So it's just been making fucking like notes, like fucking crazy, like it's insane. It's so interesting. Today I learned about, today's module was on equity and ESOPs. And the biggest thing I understood was, um, the biggest thing I learned today was about stock and stock options and what the difference is. Apparently, in according to the government of India, if you have stocks, the government considers that as income. And why that's important is because if they consider it as income, they expect like that income is subjected to income tax versus um, stock. But stock essentially in equity is paper, you know, it's not actually like liquid cash. So that's why it's a problem. So that's why we don't have things like, you know, stocks, but we have things like stock options for employees so that it's like virtually, partially, usually under your name, but it's not um, stock, stock, so it can, it's, so ESOPs are like stock options, employee stock options, so they're not considered stocks and therefore they're not subjected to income tax. And um, just interesting things, you know, and how you can liquidate them and so and so. So I thought, wow, it's so interesting that employees can have stock options. Like, wow, that's so cool. And I was, I immediately started asking my sister, I was like, do you have stock options? 
She's like, no, you know, her company is an extremely, 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 extremely well established company. So they don't do that for their employees until you're at an extremely like senior fucking extremely, extremely like, you know, high position or something like a senior senior in the company or something. But um, also a very interesting thing about ESOPs is why I was like, why don't we know about this? Why are not people getting rich quicker and things like that? It's because they said that once you leave the company, um, you have only 90 days to be able to exercise your, to convert your stock options into stocks. And if you decide to convert your stock options into stock, that means you have to give income tax before you can make that conversion happen. And that is why a lot of people, because essentially that is, um, imagine if, so I gave an example of, you know, imagine if you're making like a lack or some shit, what do you say? Imagine you have ESOPs worth like, you know, 10 lakhs or something in a company. So ESOPs are basically a percentage of your fixed salary is how you get your stock options. Anyway, that's too much detail. But it basically said, example, if it's 5% of your salary is like 10 lakhs. Um, so on that, 5% would be 50,000, right? 50,000 rupees or some shit. And to convert them into stocks, which is just like money on paper because your stock is not liquid cash until it's either, you know, filed from an IPO or acquisition or merger, you know, like so many different fucking things. Anyway, it said, um, until, uh, yeah, you would have to pay income tax to convert your stock options into stock. But you understand that when you convert stock options into stock, it's not actual money, it's still stuff on paper. And that's why a lot of people end up not doing it. You're like, like why am I going to pay 50,000 to make money sometime in the fucking future and shit like that. So um, it was very interesting to learn about that. And I understood like how complicated things are, you know, like making money and stuff is not as easy. It's like, there's so many things that might sound simple, but they're not easy as it seems. And even though you might have like stocks per se or some shit, you know, um, a stock options or per se, you're not actually going to get money until he mentioned four things. Um, until your company is going public, you know, that means it's listed in the stock market or it happened um, through a merger and acquisition, you know, when like two companies decide to come together, there's like cash interference. Then, or as an investor, an investor puts in money into the company to buy ownership of the company. Or um, yeah, the, the second thing he said, the fourth thing he said was sale if your company is sold, you know, to another big company or something like that. Until that happens, you're not fucking seeing any money. It's all shit on paper. So um, it's very interesting to understand that. And that's how I thought, God, it's like such good, like fucking, it's as if I'm going to a business school or some shit. Super fucking cool. But it's again, it was so difficult to sit down. Like, it's really interesting. I love Ankur. I love the way he speaks and everything. So it's extremely like, God, can someone take extremely out of the fucking dictionary? <laughs> so it's really, um, I need to up my vocabulary game apparently. <laughs> but I mean, it's, um, it's really uh, easy to listen to him talk and stuff because he's just, you don't feel like you're listening to someone who's fucking boring. He's really interesting, really like, you know, fiery, knows his shit. And um, it's a very different feeling listening to someone like that. You know, you consume information differently than if it was from someone who's just like, you know he's experienced things firsthand and he's 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 telling you from his experience from his mind from like 10 years 11 years of experience and success that tone is so much more different than someone fucking me reading things out from a book and then explaining them to you you know what i'm saying so that's extremely helpful but um it's tough to sit down and do things I'm experiencing and the biggest dilemma right now that I'm facing is um the fucking LA thing man oh my god now that I'm actually thinking about it it's been dragging on for so long how long am I just gonna be fucking waiting it out like even though I'm doing a lot of things in between whether it was taking up a job and things like that but I still have such a strong feeling that I'll only live um you know once I make it I'll only actually begin my journey once I'm there what about all this time of my life? Does it mean nothing? Is it worth nothing? Mm hmm. 
so even if I think of something right now, like I've been, I've been really understanding business and it's so interesting to me. I was like, wow, if I really want to start a business and just see how things, you know, like just sell a product. I've learned how to do like marketing and stuff like that. Like just, even like just reselling stuff. Like so many people run businesses, but they're just reselling shit, you know, probably packaging it in a better way, giving a customer, like a good customer experience, you know, something that you would buy at a flea market and you'd be really pissed. Curating a great customer experience and selling that experience, you know, buying um, that whole interface with the website and this and that, that all of that infrastructure actually is like a huge fucking game changer to run a business. So you don't necessarily need to invent a product. You can just resell shit. And that's how like so many times drop shipping and things like that work. So I thought it'd be so cool to um, just try something like that. And, uh, but again, I was just like, uh, this constant think of whether should I, one thing is, becoming clearer and clearer that I don't want to fucking wait for LA anymore. I don't want to waste my fucking, the prime time of my youth trying to, trying to focus on something that's not in my control first. But the only hesitation I have is if I want to go all in on something with direct all my energies towards it, I would have to completely forget LA. And I know that's not something I need to do, like I can create a balance, but I'm such an extremist. I don't know what side to pull from. I think I just need to get more clarity on how do I make that happen. Uh, yeah. You know, my dreams of uh, how should I make LA happen faster? How should I focus on business? What is it? And LA is not about being in a place. LA is it's the dream. It's the people. It's the dream of when I was defied by the system here in the country or whatever. I found another like, like being in a little valley or being in a hill, you were rejected by the hill. Instead of conforming to the standard of the hill, you looked up the mountain and you said, I'm not just gonna live in the mountain, I'm gonna conquer that mountain. So from this to this, that's what LA is to me, you know? It's huge. It's, it's the dream and it's everything. <laughs> the song just said dream. So um, just need to get clarity on what to do and what not to do. But the only thing I can do is keep on doing things, <laughs> you know, um, not waiting, not thinking, not procrastinating, not wondering. I feel like if I'm doing anything with the littlest information I have, a next path opens in front of me and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So I think that is something I'm focusing on is just creating value in my time. Whether it's, you know, to read con continuously, keep my mental thing okay. Uh, to keep on learning new skills, keep on studying, keep on learning, keep on studying, keep on exercising my mind and brain and kind of creating a strong foundation all along. Um, that's the only thing I'm focusing on, but I do, I'm going to start praying to catch greater momentum so that all these efforts are directed towards somewhere. You know, it's not just the efforts are like going like this. One thing should lead to the next, you know, it should be like a snowball effect. Um, and that would give me a real sense of happiness, you know, with the month, with the business thing, what would really drive me is money, you know, um, I've been really like interacting with, I don't know why, but you know, like the car I want, this I want, that I want, I was like, God, till the time I'm here, I might as well go for what I can, then go for things that's something that's not in my control, but that's the struggle, right? Oh, my face looks crazy. Oh, so all that's happening. Um, what else? How am I feeling and all that? I'm feeling good, man. Honestly. I feel much more in control now. People give me a lot of anxiety because one has to constantly talk about, oh, you know, what are you doing? Why do you leave your job? What's the next thing? Like, 
I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to tell you. I don't know myself. And these are like huge decisions for me. But to talk in like a social setting with small talk, to give people all the information for them to learn like how much respect they're gonna give you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I can't do that. And I get easily distracted like, so that's one fucking thing. <sighs> so they're struggling with these things, but um, I'm doing good. I know, I just really wanna give it my all. Whatever it might be, man. If it's LA, it's gonna be a completely different game plan for me. You know? If it's the business thing, that's gonna be a completely different game plan for me. So if I wanna go at it fucking like wholeheartedly with every ounce of my being, I need at least clarity on my decision whether it's this or that. So um, yeah, so I'm trying to schedule a couple of podcasts. Fucking people cancel, not even canceling. They would say yes, fine. Now I'm, you know, all full of hope. Like, oh my God, this is gonna happen. And I would get more clarity with interacting another human being, you know, being in the same industry. And then I would wait and then they would just not show up. It's not even like they'd say no, they just won't show up. Bro, bruh, how could you do that shit? Another person I'm talking with, he was um, in the Forbes 30, the 30 list in Asia, uh, in India. And he was the person who was diabetic and he created a chocolate bar um, for people who were diabetic. And it tastes great, it's like probably sugar free and whatnot, it has great health benefits. And from what I've like consumed a little bit of his content, um, the packaging and everything's great, it probably tastes amazing. And he did like 55 lakhs in three months of sale. So I um, texted him to come on the podcast and he like lied on my messages and he said, hey, can you please email me? So I immediately emailed him like the next 30 minutes and I didn't hear from him. So hoping, 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 hoping um, we are able to make this podcast happen. That would give me a lot of fucking clarity on how I'm able to build my relationship with him to learn like what my next move would be because he's like a young, super young, super young entrepreneur here. Um, based, at, based in Mumbai and stuff and um, it would just open my mind and to a lot more so little for that to happen but I don't want to wait on people man I want to keep on making things happen so I just want to focus on what more can I do what more can I do So probably I'm just going to keep myself constantly engaged in doing productive, meaningful shit and trust in the power of your routine and the compounding effect, you know? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. But thanks, I think this was a great, was a great update. And... I'm scared to upload on YouTube now because I feel like a lot of people I know started watching my shit. God, no. But um, I'm still not gonna shy away and I'll start posting on YouTube and not think about how polished my fucking content should be, but just start posting it. And not forget that we're documenting stuff. So it does not have to be. Anyway, it just needs to be what it is. You know, my hair like that, face like that, thoughts like that. Um, it is what it is. So it's gonna be really interesting for you to watch the journey. And um, yeah, great. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll do another update tomorrow. I must do it. Thank you. So awkward in ending it. Okay, bye.